Hello, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us today. You are here. While you are here, you will learn about missionaries and pioneer women. Way back in the early 1830s, a handful of Indians from the Nez Pierce and Cayuse group traveled to St. Louis to learn the white man's way. While they were in St. Louis, they were taught about something called the Black Book, which meant Bible. This is a Bible, which tells us very important things about our God. Golly, gumdrops, that's amazing! As you can tell, they were very excited about the so-called Bible that they were learning about. The group of Indians were so excited, they wanted their people to learn about it too. The group of Indians asked near and far if anybody would travel out west with them. They waited and waited, and then finally two missionary couples offered to join the Indians on their journey home to teach the people of the Bible. The two couples were Marcus and Narcissa Whitman and Henry and Eliza Spalding. The Whitmans dearly wanted to convert the natives to Christianity. While they were doing this, many travelers heard about how amazing the West is and decided to pack up their things and move out there. Come on, Bobby, we need to hurry up if we want to find a good place to live. Yeah, 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 I heard you the first 16 times. So soon after the white people moved out west, Indians began to catch the measles that the white people brought with them. White people were immune to measles, so it didn't really affect them, but the natives were not immune to it. Although the natives were more interested in the weapons, they thought the missionaries were trying to spread Christianity or poisoning their tribes. Guys, what are we going to do? Those Whitmans are trying to kill all of us. we got to get rid of them. The reason the Indians were dying was that white settlers were spreading the measles, which the Indians weren't immune to. The Indians, however, didn't know that. They thought the Whitmans were trying to give them poison pills so they would die. The Indians were planning a little surprise for the Whitmans. They killed both Marcus and Narcissa Whitman. The massacre also killed 11 others. It took place in the current town of Walla Walla, Washington. By the year 1869, when the first Continental Railroad was finished, over 3,500,000... 350,000 pioneers had headed west to start a brand new beginning. Most of the women were accompanied by their children. Women, weren't, women would experience how strong a woman could really be. First, they had to pack, which meant lots of food, water, and basic supplies. They would sell less important stuff to pay for their trip to a new land. That was one of the many hardships of the pioneer families had to face. Many families suffered from accidents or diseases. It was especially hard when the long, cold winters came. Many travelers died from starvation or hypothermia. Indian attacks did occur, but not very often. Do you think that we will run into any Indians? Psh, how should I know? But if we get attacked, I'm going to prove that I can run faster than you. Pioneer women weren't always women. Girls to learn how to grow up fast. Some even got married at age 14 and 15. Will you marry me? Yay, of course I will. Daddy, Daddy, guess what? What? I'm getting married. Oh, gosh. While traveling out to the west, the men had to first walk many miles. After the long walk for fe- hours and hours, they had to take care of their children, make food, and wash clothes. Psh, girl, I don't know why, have, why we have to do all this. Because the so-called men are working on other things. Ha, okay, sure. I'd like to see them do all this. Some pioneer women had, had given birth while they were on the journey. Once they reached their destination, they had to work alongside their husband and keep, be- and keep doing the, the womanly duties. Which meant building houses, farming, cooking, and washing clothes, cleaning, and taking care of the ki- ki- children. I don't know about you, but I think Pioneer Women were the strongest of everyone on this journey.